everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I'm going to do an unboxing, untubing. This comes to us from Diamond Shop, which I have linked down below if you want to go check them out. Diamond Shop is a small business in the Philippines that is owned by Rowana and Reggie and they're fabulous people. Um, they have licensed diamond paintings and they have a kind of a special service that other some other companies uh, don't, which is that they package your order on camera. It's super exciting to order something and then watch someone package it up for you. It makes it very special. I know that it's not for everybody and that their prices are a little bit high, uh, but please consider it because the quality of their paintings is very nice and their customer support is very, very good. I am not an affiliate with Diamond Shop, but I am an ambassador, so they did send me this to share with all of you. There is a new artist over at Diamond Shop, and you may actually recognize this artist. So I'm going to get right into it. That's a really cute ribbon. I'm going to have to find something nice to... Uh, use that on in the future. They always package these so well. And I hate to waste the paper because Rowana is such a good packager. Packager? Packer? <laughs> However, I don't want to keep you here forever, so I'm going to unwrap the ends and I will be right back. All right, let's see what's inside. Ooh. Lime green tissue paper. Very nice. And it says thank you. Oh, it's stuck to the tissue. I won't worry about the tissue. It says thank you for your order. And inside we have a kind of a corrugated cardboard to protect the canvas. Very well packaged. Trying to ensure that no damage comes to your diamond paintings or your paint art by chart, which they also sell. I need to go ahead and drop that off the side. So here we have, oh wow. So on here we have a very soft canvas. This feels like the velvet that uh, is from Diamond Art Club. And this wrapper. Now I do not know what I'm getting. All I know is that the new artist at Diamond Shop is Rika, and I can't pronounce her surname, I'm so sorry, um, but I'll have it down below. <gasps> Wow. Ooh, she's so pretty. Oh, wow. And it's so purple. How did you know? <laughs> wow. Look at this. That's amazing. So Rika is a fantasy artist. You may have seen her before. This is called Goddess of the Night. Rika Rikinen. I hope I pronounced it correctly. So it's, it's Goddess of the Night, 60 by 79. This is a square drill. And there's the legend. We've got all letters, numbers, and a few symbols. There are 40 colors in this painting. Oh, she is gorgeous. I love the butterflies, the blue butterflies. I love her hair. She looks like a video game character, right? Wow. The gothic arches. Oh, I love this. It's beautiful. Wow. Let's, let's have a look at the drill field. I thought I would show you up close what her face looks like and how many colors there are. Oh, I think that's a lunifer. So you can see in her eyes here, her lips, there's quite a bit of shading in her face. And I think that's going to work out very well. 
Uh, this kind of confetti that you can see here where there's a lot of color changing. Oh, you can see my face. Don't look at my face. Where there's a lot of color changing, that is where you're going to get the detail. So the detail of her hair, the detail here in the glass window, and also in the arches and things like that. So for this t rendering style, you want more confetti. Um, however, you can see here over on the edge, it's mostly the letter G with a few other colors mixed in S, uh, A, etc. cetera. Uh, that is for this solid black line that's along the sides as a border. But you can definitely tell like there's a gem in this, the staff and things like that. It is very, very pretty. You can just bring it back up here so you can kind of see the whole, oop, the whole thing again. This is a poured glue canvas. So if you look, you can see it's beautiful and shiny, so lovely and very sticky. Uh, this is the kind of glue that I prefer when I'm diamond painting because it's got a cushion to it. It's very malleable. You can move your drills around quite a bit. So I'm super happy to have more poured glue paintings. It's not exactly a new thing anymore, but I do continue to, to enjoy them. And wow, I really, really like her dress as well. That is so pretty. And look at the butterflies and roses here at the bottom too. Very nice. This is going to look fantastic. I wish I knew what character this was based on. And if I can find out before I publish the video, I will go ahead and put it on the screen so you can see. And especially what the original looked like compared to, uh, compared to the rendering here. Um, they are, they are always having new promotions. Whenever a new artist comes to Diamond Shop, there are perks for buying early. Now, if you buy within a certain time frame, you might get something for free, like a free gift, a free cover minder, or uh, something to that effect. And right now, I will go ahead and I will link to their store. Please check out this new artist and see what is available to you at the time of me making this video, because it does change. And sometimes when I see something's there, and then the video has been up for a while, unfortunately, I don't want to make anyone unhappy, but I would really love it if you would check them out and support your artists. Definitely support the diamond painting companies that are going and licensing these images directly from the artist and paying their artists. So thank you, Diamond Shop, again. Let's look at the diamonds and all the stuff that's in here as well. Ooh. Ooh. All right, so this is everything that I have inside of that tube. So we can tell that these are diamonds and this says free AB beads and I think that's a toolkit, but what is this? This must be the gift. Ooh, a pen and it says diamond shop on it. I think you can see that. That's really nice. I always love getting pens, especially branded pens. My nails are not cooperating, so excuse me while I rip that apart. Ooh, a wooden pen. Lovely. I like that. Thank you so much. I hope you make these available for us, <laughs> especially for people who love Diamond Shop. And then, what's this? Oh, I see my name. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! What is it? Oh, cool! Hang on. <laughs> I was like, what? This is a phone stand. You can set your phone right in there. That is so cool! So a phone stand with my name on it. That is a cool. Uh, what is this though? Is this a coaster? It's 
a piece of leather. I think this is a coaster, like for your drinks and stuff. That's going to be so handy for me in the living room. Thank you so much. And then this, I know exactly what this is. This is a catch-all. You might have a different word for it, uh, but this, look, it has my name on it. Oh, it's so soft. And you just pinch the corners together like this. When you don't want to use it, you can, you know, open these and store it flat. But this is fantastic. I needed one of these for my desk. Yay, and it has my name. That is so cool that it's personalized like that. So I'm not sure if this is the gift for this artist's release, but these are really cool and really like practical. So thank you. Thank you so much. Those are beautiful. Let's see. So with the diamond painting, it looks like we have some information about the ABs. You have the option to do the following. Use all ABs on charted areas. Sprinkle the ABs. Use mostly regular bees, beads and use ABs sparingly to simply highlight certain areas of your painting or just use all regular beads and skip the ABs. They have included dark and light. With dark, it says to sprinkle the application. Dark colored ABs give a very, uh, maybe stark. I think that this, um, the words kind of got cut off there, but apply only in certain areas that would highlight your project. Sprinkling will get you the scattered glitter effect. Light, use as much as you'd like. Light ABs have more subtle effect. Apply light ABs in as much as the charted areas. This will give those areas a shimmery pearl effect. Ooh. All right. We'll see what we got. Here's their toolkit. It's got then your name on it. Very cute. I love how personalized it is. It really is a nice touch. It's like getting a present. So in here we have two pens with large multi-placers. These, I think there's a seven placers, maybe? It doesn't say. Uh, we've got some tweezers. I'm not going to use these for diamond painting. Um, I find them really difficult to use personally. I'll use them for something else. We've got two big plates of pink wax, which should be plenty for this painting. And we have two MOSFA boats as well. These are really great, especially if you like to use a lot of trays or a lot of different colors at once. Those are the best ones for that, I find anyway. So that's what's in your toolkit. And now we'll look at the beads. Wow, and they're in baggies. Can you see that? So in here, they've actually given us the inventory sheet. Oh, there's two pages. So you do get an inventory sheet in case you want to make labels with it or check off your numbers and it tells you how many bags there are. Now there's one bag for every color, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just lay them all out and make sure that I have them all. But look at that beautiful picture. Oh my gosh. All right. So I'm going to lay them out and check that I've got all of the diamonds and I will be right back. All right, wonderful. I have all of the colors that are supposed to come with this painting. So all, all of these beautiful shades of blue and purple. <laughs> this is, this is perfect. Thank you so much, Diamond Shop. I love this picture. I love the colors in this picture. Uh, it looks like if we go by the weight of the bag, the most of one single color is actually $7.97. It was 49 45.49 uh, grams of diamonds in here. And these diamonds look 
pretty good. They do. They look really good. Uh, let's see. We've got 550, which is my favorite color. It's beautiful purple. We've got 333, which is another one of my favorites. I, lo I love all of these shades. All of these shades of purple. I'm pretty sure this has every purple. And I'm just having a look at the diamonds because I know that you all like to look at them. Look at how pretty they are. And how shiny. Uh, some lighter colors like 996. Very pretty. And I know that some people don't like dark diamonds, but I think that they actually shine so much. They're underrated. So definitely give it a try. Now you can see that there's a bit of static in there. What I'm going to do, I do love that. Okay tangent. I love that they come in these bags. These bags are a very high quality bag. It does cause static though. And the way to get rid of that is just to cut up a dryer sheet and stick a little piece of dryer sheet into the bag. That's all you need. And it will get rid of that static. 5,200. So there's only one AB in the painting and that is 209 is a beautiful kind of a lilac purple it's more on the pink side of purple and it has this gorgeous shimmer from green yellow to blue that's gonna look amazing so this one came free this treatment came free with this painting because excuse me because of the new release um but after a certain amount of period, that will no longer be free and it will be an additional charge. Uh, but I know that there are a lot of people out there who, um, who some people like the ABs and some people don't. So it's, it's completely up to you. But that's it for me, folks. Thank you so much, Diamond Shop, for sending this to me. I really appreciate it. I hope that you all enjoyed watching me, uh, unbox this painting. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you really quickly how I put this back in the bag. Um, I like to pick them up from here, this side, and just bring all the bags together in my hand. And this way they'll go in in order. Just like this. I know that that sounds probably like uh, duh, but you know, sometimes it's, you need to see it to understand it. So I just grab a few at a time and pop them in and I'm going to give you one last look at the uh, canvas before we go because I want to see where those AB diamonds can go. Maybe give you an idea for where you could put them as well. So let's just grab the last of these colors. See how nicely they lay inside of here as well. Just hold on to the bag with one hand and then use your other hand to pick up the baggies and stick them in. There's plenty of room in this bag for all of the all of the baggies just like that then you can straighten them out and kind of make room so that they lie at an angle And there you go. There's your diamonds <laughs> all set aside. Okay, so the 209, oops, I missed some of the diamonds fell out. 209 AB is the symbol O. And you can use either the AB or the regular. They've given you both, right? So, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, O is in her skin. It's this light kind of mid a mid shade. I don't know if I would put the ABs in her face like that, 
But if there are O's like over here, there are some O's in the arches. Um, there are O's here on the skin of her shoulders. It might look good to add a little bit of the AB around her skin on the outside so that, um, cause the light is coming from behind her, right? So it'll just look like she's glinting, like she's been, um, <laughs> she's sweating a little bit <laughs> in a good way. <laughs> um, there's O's in her skin down here as well, but there's also O's in her dress. Maybe it would be good to put them here in the belt because there's some here in the belt and maybe that glinting would look really good in kind of that center piece right there and on the belt as well. Oh, the detail. It's so pretty. I would love to know what you think down below. Again, this is Goddess of the Night by Rika. And I will link this painting in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week ahead, and I will see you all soon in my next video. Take care, everyone.